I need more donuts. Yeah. Yeah, I need more donuts. Good morning everybody. So we got a special thing this morning. We've actually expanded our team here at uh, APS. Special welcome to, you know, we've got two new dispatchers and we're just going to do a welcome. Welcome to the team. Welcome to what we're doing. So yeah, it's going to be a fun thing. Definitely. Well, looking at this PM, just checking on the crew. They've got uh, self contains in the building, as well as they've got these large Evapco towers. Um, you know, so anyway, just rolling through the PM, seeing where everything's at, how's it doing. It's our first time inspecting this equipment, so just seeing how it looks. And, uh, you know, this will take us a few days to go through with one team on site. They're doing a great job, so I'll leave them to it. So excited. Come here. Yes. So, you know, I absolutely love uh, small tools. Did you just go there? Anyway, I had one of these for the longest time absolutely loved it and I don't to just it did disappeared one day I think the HVAC gremlins grabbed it took off with it it was gone anyway I haven't had a good opportunity to get another one since then and today is a perfect opportunity doing some repairs on a VFD and uh, I just uh, I love it I love it you know I was using the stubby this morning and that got me so far I, I was able to make my my uh, regular size the mid-size work uh i guess that's considered the eight inch or something nine inch whatever um but it just it was it was kind of a pain these are going to be perfect so now i didn't ask the wife first i think she'll be fine with it but uh yeah i got it back Well, the VFD call is wrapped up and it's time for me to grab lunch. I got some tower heaters I need to go look at next. Uh, but I'm over here on the right side of town because we have Hat Creek. So if you're ever in the Central Texas, Austin area, uh, you've got to try Hat Creek. It's a burger joint, really, really good. Uh, they have great sweet potato fries, everything. And if you are here in this area and you don't eat Hat Creek, what is wrong with you? I mean, are you are you just are you ill? Do you feel sick? I mean, you gotta have Hat Creek. Come on, guys. All right. So we got a real bad uh, cold snap coming through. It's supposed to start, uh, I think, tomorrow. So a lot of customers are nervous. They want their tower. Heaters checked and verified and so forth. So I'm gonna check this one out for him real quick. He's got another building next door. I'm gonna check out, make sure everything's functional and uh, just a little peace of mind for them. So here's our Heater contactor. Let's 
Here's the old thermostat control, which now goes through on the other side. There's a thermostat, a newer electronic one. So let's check this out. Alright, so right now it's set to 48 degrees. We're gonna crank this up. I've already confirmed amps. So now I just want to see that contactor pull in, which it did. Beautiful. Alright, so we got two basin heaters, one there, one on the other side. I said this was a digital, it's not a digital, it's just newer, end of the day, ain't nothing fancy. I don't really care the way they did the connections, but oh well, I mean, it works. Now we're gonna set this back, right there. This is good to go, so I confirmed amps, contactors pulling in, everything's good, thermostat's working. We set. Now they got one more building, like I said, it's got the building next door. I'm gonna go over and check it. I did the same exact thing there as I did here. We'll move on. You can see a chigger right there crawling around. Damn things, I hate them. VFD control, makeup water, see temp, there's our heaters. That looks promising. on the bottom side where they at yep right there I see it so there's one heater coming across coming up into here hitting this controls so I bet you heater controls are inside of here and the other heaters down there is coming across. It's probably hitting another panel on the other side. Same as that one. Yep, right there. Okay. Easy peasy. Let's crack these open. Looks like a flat head. See what's going on. Yes, sir. All right. Wow, look at that. That's pretty terrible. Freaking solid wire. Anyway, um, contactor. There's our sensor. We I don't see an adjustment. So. Be nice if they had like a test button. Okay, well at bare minimum, we can get amp draw and just confirm that the heater is functional and we have all three legs of power. And then beyond that, uh, we're pretty limited on this one without, you know, getting kind of crazy with it. 
so let's first verify power. Yep, 10 amps. Okay, that's about all I can really do on this one. Well, that wraps up this day. Um, towers look fine. Just finished talking to the customer, so uh, we're going to be good. I th I'm, I'm going to conclude the vlog here. Uh, I do have a special message that I filmed the other morning um, that I'm going to follow up with with this. And uh, I, I'm still kind of figuring out exactly how I'm going to judge the vlog and, and kind of go through it. But um, I... I I'm, I'm probably it's not gonna be like every single day. I'm vlogging everything. I'm doing it's gonna be maybe a couple of days or a few days at a time Kind of pushed together into a vlog and pushed out and you know Anyway, but it don't matter. You'll figure it out. I do have an eye appointment. So my daughter um, I've had these glasses now since 17 and uh, my daughter grabbed a hold of them this weekend and broke the hinge on the, my left side so anyway uh i gotta go get my prescription redone and now uh, thankfully i was able to kind of bend it back enough to where you know i can uh i can still wear them but i'm sure y'all don't really care about that got the message coming up after this stay tuned for that because kind of hear you know my thoughts on the vlog itself and yeah i'll i'll, I'll see you on the next vlog y'all are good you got it so you know, I've, I've I've I had the Life of HVAC Time series for a while there. I think we had 14 episodes in total, and I just kind of got away from it. You know, uh, it's not that I I shut the series down. I just I moved on to some other things. I was also doing the time frame. I took a break for a while. Uh, that's uh, that was the main reason why it really stopped. Anyway. Since I've come back, I've really been, I wasn't satisfied with it. Now, first of all, my, what I'm doing editing wise, my shooting, everything's dramatically different at this point. One of the reasons I didn't bring it back initially is because, you know, I was trying to cram all this information in and service calls and all this stuff into it. And you were missing a lot of the 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 really good things that you that I want to share with you to help you in your career through it. So anyway, um, I've decided to rebrand the uh, my actual vlog as just a you know it's 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 a HVAC vlog. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna keep it simple. The goal of this is just to show a daily life progression whatever you know let it be what it's gonna be let me just I'm going to film what I film I'm not going to ramble if I do I will not let it through and uh, yeah the, the the core of the of the of the content that is focused around um, the, the service side, the service work, and what's going on, that will be its own separate stuff. The service calls, you know, I, you may see bits and pieces of it inside of the vlog, but that will still be its own core so that everything that I want to show you inside of that call, that work, whatever, you can see, you can still be a part of, but, you know, you can also get some entertainment and have some fun just seeing the rest of what's going on in the background. So, anyway... I need to shut up. We're going to move on. And let's get on with our week. <laughs>